implementing and effectively running the captain's council within your team, it's a powerful way to not only develop leaders, but to increase the chances that everyone in your program feels seen, feels known, and feels cared for. My name is JP Nurbin. I'm the founder and director of Thrive on Challenge, and we help coaches to create transformational cultures. And we do that by helping them raise standards and strengthen those relationships. Now, I've been fortunate to support over 50 coaches at the youth, high school, collegiate, and professional levels, and many, many different sports. Now, every one of those coaches lists a lack of player leadership in their top three challenges in building their team's culture. And personally, I don't actually blame the athletes for the lack of leadership. I look towards the parents, I look towards our academic system, and yes, our coaches. We all have to do better to address this. We all have to do a better job to help develop this. Anyways, the, the reasons may be debatable, but the fact is this, we are facing a growing scarcity of player leadership. Now that lack of leadership leads to a host of other challenges for coaches which I think you might be able to relate to at least a few. First off, players don't hold each other accountable. They either don't know how or haven't been taught or they're afraid. But it results in us as coaches having to be one of the few people in their lives that do hold them accountable. And it can grow tiring. We end up feeling like the accountability police and it has negative consequences on our relationships with our players. The other thing is players don't know how to lead. They're unable to communicate and organize others effectively. Instead, I think most players, they sit back and wait to be told what to do. And this gets tiring. And we feel like we are one of the only ones that's taking ownership within our program. Another challenge is players struggle to even follow the leaders. When an individual does step up and try to lead, it can be met with resistance by others. Clicks naturally start to form when leaders are not actively working to connect the whole group, the whole team, and these clicks can start to create division. Players struggle today more than ever to support each other in their successes, when they make mistakes, and even when they fail to meet the standards. At the end of the day though, we as coaches, are left feeling overwhelmed, feeling sometimes like we're the only ones that are rowing the boat. The captain's council, that addresses every single one of these challenges. Now the current model for leadership development in sports, education, and business, it's failing miserably. Extensive research from the Harvard Business School and other research institutions, it shows that most traditional models are a complete waste of resources. People continuously try to teach leadership in the classroom, through book studies, and leadership retreats. Now, these aren't bad, but they don't produce noticeable long-term effects. And at the end of this course, you'll be provided with many of the resources backing this claim. Instead of delivering leadership lessons in a classroom, book study, or weekend retreat, we need to focus on the four key elements if we are to be successful. The first is experiential learning. You don't build skills in a classroom studying the skills. You build skills by getting reps. Leadership skills are no different. Sports provide the reps, but only if we give our players those reps, we have to provide real leadership experiences. And that means they have to be able to make decisions and then live with those consequences. That's leadership. The second is personal development. We need to invest in the personal growth of the individual, in particular, emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is one of the number one indicators of future success in life and of strong leadership. Next, we need a leadership system, one that provides repeated opportunities and experiences to lead and learn from those experiences. And lastly, part of that leadership system needs to provide a mentor, a guide, or as the Harvard Business School calls it, a Sherpa, right? Too often we try to give lectures as if we are some leadership expert instead of listening, asking questions, and helping each individual to make informed decisions and learn from those experiences. 
The Captain's Council system, it provides a structure so your program will continuously focus on those four key areas. While leading research has been foundational to its development, it has also relied on modeling some of, from some of the greatest sports teams out there, such as the New Zealand All Blacks rugby team. These leadership qualities and systems have been outlined in the books like Legacy by James Kerr and The Captain's Class by Sam Walker. Every single coach I've supported who has implemented the Captain's Council has deemed it a success. Not only is every single program still running it after the first season, but they continue to grow it and expand the role and ownership for each captain. This training course is going to take you through the what, the who, the why, and the how. I'm going to take you step by step through each process so that you can adapt and tailor it to your program's particular needs. Before we get into the how, let me explain a little of the what and the why. The Captain's Council has five main functions. It's going to develop your leaders. There is a clear process for leadership development. It takes place every week and often daily. Next, it decentralizes command by clearly communicating ownership over certain parts of your program to your captains. There will not be any confusion on their responsibilities and their power to make decisions. Next, it ensures every player is connected to the overall team culture, and it can cement those relationships within your team. It teaches, empowers, and requires, it requires that players support each other and hold each other accountable. And lastly, this is the number one system to drive a player-led culture. If you do not implement the system, you're really going to be relying on luck. You can hope for some players to step up, but too often they will not, especially if they have not been taught or empowered how to do so. To save 10%, just click on the link in the details of this video to head on over to CoachTube.com where you can purchase the course and all the additional resources.